guys, what's up? Welcome to what potentially could be the Sara Squad Studios. I know, I know you all have a lot of questions right now. I'm sure you want to know how, why, what, kaise, paisa kaha se aaya hai, ye, wo, and maa baap kya bol rahe, wagera, wagera. But I will answer all your questions in due course of time. First, let's take a look at the house. Okay, so this is my empty house tour. This is what the house looks like right now. Not done anything. I'm sorry if my voice is echoing right now in this house because there's no furniture whatsoever. So as you enter, you enter through this door right here. This is like a semi-furnished house. There's only the renovation which is done and nothing else in this house whatsoever. No furniture whatsoever. So we have a ball of a time to decorate this place as per our liking. There is this TV unit over here. We walk into this very huge, massive living room space, which I love. I love a big, huge living room, especially because I'm tall. Although the height of this house is not that much, there's also this extra space over here, which opens out towards the kitchen. And it's a very big kitchen for somebody who doesn't know what like to cook. But yeah, I can chill on the platform and somebody slowly over here. The kitchen is nice and well done up already. There are cabinets, there's a platform. But one of my favorite parts about this room are the windows. They are massive, they are big, there's good Italian marble on it. As we look inside the house, we also have this huge corridor and some empty space over here, which will probably host my refrigerator when I can get one. But then we walk into the passage towards the bedrooms. So the first room we have right here, this is the smaller bedroom. The cute and small bedroom, it is quite small. Like it says, there is a bed already that came with the house. So the echo over here is less because there is a bed to absorb it. The best part about this house though, the golden hour. You can see the golden hour just hits right on my face. It was quite cloudy, which is why you could not see it till now. But luckily, the clouds are clearing out. And there's a small bed, there's very little space over here. Another thing I really like is the wooden flooring. I love the wooden flooring. There is a lot of contrast when it comes to the tiles. It's a very, very small room, not very spacious. But again, the windows and everything are really, really nice and big. Adjusting to this room, we have the other one right here. Opening this room, this is good, nice and spacious. So this room again comes with a bed already. It has a bed which came with the house. So this room also comes with an adjacent washroom because this is the master bedroom. So I'll show you what the washroom looks like. It is short for me, like you can probably tell. Let me switch on the light for you. It is a very short washroom for somebody who is as tall as me. That is because there is a tanky open. This building has some water issues so you need to fill the tank and stuff. I really like the aesthetic of the washroom. It's small, it's tiny. But I mean you are living in Bombay, dude. What do you expect? It's as good as it gets over here. Coming out of this room, there is so much space. I mean the ideas that I have for this room. I cannot wait for you all to see how we transform this space. I am so excited to make it all come to life. Again, a huge, massive window which we all love as always. And that's about it. Oh, there's also one more washroom that I did not show you. That is the guest washroom, if you will. But here it's going to be Fudge's washroom. So it's going to be the washroom that my Fudge Baba goes to pee in. So yeah, quite a big washroom for Fudge if you go to consider. It is not that small actually. This is the bigger washroom because it has more space inside over here as well. This is the shower area and then we have like a loo area right here. Alright guys, that completes it. This is my empty house tour, all complete. I hope you guys like it and I really hope that we can transform the space into something super beautiful. I have so many ideas already, but I know right now you have a lot of questions for me. So first and foremost, let me just clarify the first thing that must pop in your head. This is not a space that I have bought at all. This is a rented space. So I've rented it out for the next 11 months. The advantage of this is that I get a trial of what it's like to live alone and you know, move out and also work from a space plus live in it. It's called Sara Squad Studios, but I'm gonna be living in this space as well. I'm gonna get fudge and everything else that comes with my life, all my baggage and everything. And we're gonna live out of this space. So it's gonna be a trial run of my life. That's the advantage. The disadvantage is that 11 months later we do have to empty the space out because my landlord does need the house back after 11 months. So we do have to empty the space out. So I don't plan to furnish it so much that I get emotionally attached to it and I cannot leave the space. Another very important cue is that if you've seen the structure of this house, you must have realized it resembles one house very very closely and that is my parents space, that is my original home uh, that is in this very building so I am living in the same 
same building as my parents. Uh, initially, the plan was to move out somewhere farther because the rent over here was expensive, something I could not afford initially. But later on, we decided with the pandemic and the growth that we've been having on our channel that it's wiser to rent this space because it's closer to my parents. Father also has access to them, I have access to them, and I'm not going too far away from them in the pandemic because you know things are changing every single day. All the other questions you have for me, leave them in the comments, and this Sunday I will answer everything for you. I really, really hope you like this space. I saw a couple of flats in my building and a lot of flats overall, but this place just had my heart, and I hope you're it as well. From the minute I entered this apartment, it just gives me the best, best vibes and I just felt so good about it that the little extra cash also feels good over here. It is so hot right now, I'm sweating like a pig because I have to take the fans off and there are no ACs. We have to do up so much right from scratch. A lot of money is even going through this, I can only imagine. But thank you all for so much support you have always shown me. It's only because of you that I can make these dreams happen. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up that would also mean that you're wishing me luck on this very very new beginning of my life i love you all so so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys take care